keep going. But yeah, I would say we've actually been doing really good. And I have been working out pretty much every single day during Chroma Core too. Yeah, which is good. I want to miss some Legends theme. Ooh, that'd be cool. Tempted to buy a compression glove. Fair enough. Like, if it's going to help you, use whatever age you need. Hell yeah. Uh, I have to say, since I started going to the gym more, I've noticed my arm pains are way less. Yeah, like, since I've been working out my arms, my arms do so much better. And so does my back. My back hurts less, my shoulders hurt less. In fact, my shoulders, back, and arm have not hurt at all. And I've been doing around an average of 10 hours a day for 30 days straight now, which is kind of mad. Totally suck if I had that, because half the things... We eat, have cilantro in it. It's actually pretty interesting Spanish. Uh, so, uh, coriander and cilantro are two different things. Coriander is col colantro. It's the same family, but it's more potent. Cilantro is, is not. I see. Do I need some ropes to hang from? I do. I need like rope, roped up hanging somewhere so I can stretch my arms backwards. Yes. Yes. That would probably help. But that's okay. We'll just do some good stretches. But yeah, that's about it. Other than that, we've actually been really, really good. Again, I have been doing very consistent workouts to try and make sure that my health stays good because I don't want repetitive strain injuries and I don't want to, you know, generally injure myself. Kittens, good morning. Welcome on in. How are you doing? How goes it? I hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the last day of Chromacore as well. The very last one. The very last one. Cilantro. Cilantro. Is it not cilantro? I thought cilantro is a sprigs and leaves where coriander is seeds and roots. I just hear, I, I sit here and listen, I have no idea. Oh dear. So, so coriander leaves here in the States refer to the seeds, not just the plants. Ah, oh, I see. I'm good, I'm doing good. I'm always happy to catch you. Oh, bless you. No, it's nice to see you too. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, we're doing we're doing a bit of a we're doing with a couple of characters. We're doing Sonne's character or Cadet, as well as my character in Cadet. We have had a very chat forward day, so it has been how many however many hours, but and we haven't done a whole lot, but we're having a good day. Ah dear. If you stand on the door with your arms stretched as far as possible while having still having your hands on the doorway either side and lean forward, that's a really good stretch. Oh really? Oh, okay. Some door with your arms stretched up as far as you can while still having your back on the doorway. Oh, and lean forward. Okay. Yeah, that, that kind of feels like what I need. Again, like there's no pain. It's been really hard for me to describe how it feels because it's like, it doesn't feel like a bad. It just feels like I want to stretch it a little bit further. Like it just needs to stretch a little further, you know, just a little teeny tiny bit and then I'll, I'll have it. And that's what I want. But it's, it's not quite there yet. <laughs> because I have like bands and such, like what, which is part of what I've been doing for my sets. I have them, and yeah, I put fabric on them this morning though. <laughs> and I was moving things around, but I have like bands and such. So like I do do stretches like this, which by the way, remember at the beginning where I had to have it right at the end? I now do it like this much. I, I need to get like, I think a slightly stiffer band because now I have no problem holding this. In fact, if anything, yeah, I think I need a slightly better, bit better one. I'm slowly getting through this one, uh, but this one doesn't give me problems anymore. It used to. It used to for a long time, but not anymore. But yeah, I have this one and I have a couple of five kilogram weights, but I'm still doing those one at a time, but I have them. I have them. And I've been doing those every single day. And we've been slowly but surely becoming a little bit stronger. Cause that's the thing, it's not like I'm looking for a dramatic change, but like just enough that I'm not getting aches or anything like that in my arms is good. Oh dear, I want to lie on a freaking rock. I think that's the kind of stretch that would work for me. Rocks! Hell yeah, rocks has got so many good stuff you could do. Lying on rock. Hell yeah. Uh, Chris is getting, getting consistently things done. Thank you! Oh dear. Uh, yeah, I, to be fair, it's the first time I've ever had a consistent working out routine. It's very, very mild though. Like, really mild. Like, it takes like 10 minutes. And it's, it's, so it's, it's a small part of my day. Because if you have the blue one and a brand new one, it's going to be too easy. Uh, be oh, okay. Because it's the same density. Ah. I see, I see. Yeah, because I, when I first started this, I'd have to put it like here and like here to do it. So I'd have to go like really far across and that was the only way I could do it because I'd get my arms tired. Whereas now it's like, <sighs> a lot more, actually probably more than that. That's not quite right. Okay. Each color is a different weight. Yeah. Bonk. And even then it doesn't feel like it's quite stretching it enough. I'm also worried about it pinging. I do not want it to ping. It feels like it could go like a little further. Oh, but I like them. Yeah, this one is, will it say on it? No, it's got typing on it, but it doesn't say the, the, the strain it is. 
blue. I guess it, I could look up fortress band in blue and find out what it is. Fortress band in blue, let me see. Fortress band blue. Uh, yes, I think this is the one. I got the blue one. But what's the blue one? <laughs> I've just got blue. Oh, actually, this is this is the exact one. Blue is three meter. It just says resistance blue. It doesn't say what it is. It just says resistance blue. God, that's not very helpful. Uh... Hmm. If I could, I don't know, like fortress band colors. Maybe get it from there. Blue is didn't know blue. Yeah, I didn't know blue was either. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's a picture. Let me get that image up. Okay. So blue is a, a, a high. Apparently, it's, it's actually a bit higher up, yeah, from the looks of it. Yeah, it's above red by two, by two of them. But it's not saying exactly what it is. It goes, tan is the lowest, then yellow, then red, then green, then blue, then black, silver, gold. Yeah. So I would need to go up to black if I wanted a tighter one, I guess, which I kind of do. The blue one I can do pretty easily at this point. Yeah. There yeah. So I'll go black next. And then if I get through that one, then silver, then gold. Yeah. Which hopefully I don't have to get. It's only like a daily thing. Or just gold. Gold is my favorite color. You are right. You're damn right. Gold is my favorite color. I love gold. But yeah, you're right. I should just pick the one that's my favorite color. That'll do it. Oh dear. Hilo, so you may need to go silver. Oh, okay, okay. Black, yeah. Black will be next, yeah. Oh dear, to be fair, I don't know a whole lot about it either. I, I'm very new to it all. All right, three of you going are going to be a black belt of stretchy bands. Just really good at stretching my arms from side to side. Really good at the, the arm stretching, because your heart is got Oh, you. Oh, you. Oh dear. Yes. No, I've been really enjoying the bands and they've been really, really good. And they have, they've definitely helped a lot again with like core strength. And it, it does help me feel stretched out a little bit like, but I would still say that I would want a little bit more at this stage, which I'm honestly surprised. It's been like six months. I didn't think that it'd be that quick, but yeah, at this point. But th then again, the other thing that I'm like, at this point, I need to be eating better. <laughs> Stop eating all these chip buddies and all that kind of stuff. If I want to gain like muscle, then I got to eat stuff that can help me gain muscle and I'll eat enough of it as well. You know, in the summer especially, I always have a very low appetite because of how warm it is. I need to eat more and eat more high protein foods around the workouts. Yeah, if I want to get more muscle, which I kind of do, to be honest. Oh dear, I think I'm not taking a hundred and I'm more, about six or seven kilos. Oof, oof. What does it mean when you say 100% elongation? Is that going from like the center? Because I can't get it to go more than like there from the center. Like it would just snap, I think. I don't know if I want to snap my band, to be honest. So I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to snap my band. But like, where is 100% or is 100% like here? Because like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I go from about here. Like take 30 centimeters on each side, I'd say ish maybe a little more but again i could go slightly further than that to be honest mm, eat more carbs you're damn right that'll do it that'll get me the response i want eat a few more carbs in there hell yeah <laughs> do fair it would make me very happy and happiness is also important a bit further from the middle you'd have to be able to hold each side and curl it around your wrist on both sides yeah that's the thing is like, i don't want to just snap <laughs> i want to snap my band oh dear yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But yeah, I guess I can keep going with it. Again, I'm getting stronger. I still have skinny arms as the thing. My arms are strong, but they do be they do be sticks. Sticky, stickier than I'd like. Okay, okay. So 
bit from the middle, you'd be able to, okay, okay, so curl it around your wrist. Is that from the end on both sides? Okay, so if I wrap it around once, twice, and then once, twice. No, I think I'm doing a bit more than that, to be honest. Let me do... Ooh, I don't think I should go further than that. I think it's going to snap if I go further than that. I could pull it. But I think it will snap. There's only about that much left as well. <laughs> wait a minute. How do I... Okay, wait. You said once... Oh, no, 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 wait. I'm, I'm counting badly. I'm an idiot. Sorry. One, two. That's two. And then one two that's two okay that's that's a hundred percent then that's easy so that would be three and that would be three. Oh, but i feel like that will snap am i wrong in thinking that this was gonna snap <laughs> i'm quite afraid of it snapping to be honest <laughs> oh dear because i only have like that much left hmm hmm more experimentation will be needed i think oh dear Regardless, I think that band is maybe not doing as much for me as it used to. Which maybe it would be a good time to size up a little bit. But that's good. That's progress. Again, I'm not necessarily looking to becoming the strongest person ever, although... Although I wouldn't mind. Uh, I think... I think having a little bit more just so I could properly stretch it out wouldn't be a bad thing. I mean, I've moved up weights twice because I started with one kilogram, then I went to two kilogram, and now I'm at five kilogram, which is a bit of a jump, but that's what we had. <laughs> um, so I have also been moving up there. It makes sense at some point that I'll also have to move up in the bands, you know? Like at some point, it was bound to happen. I need to get over six kilogram because then I can beat Sean. Sean's at seven, uh, sorry, no, Sean's at six kilogram right now. So if I can get to seven kilogram, yeah. Oh dear. You need an armor to unlock the next upgrade for the bands, yeah. <laughs> you gotta level up. Was it around your wrist and not the palm of your hand? Oh, I think people think resistance friends are easy and not a workout, but it's because you're using all your weight to essentially bring your arms to pull. If it's around the wrist. Wait. My wrist is very small though. I don't know if my wrist would be a good one for that, because my wrist would be like. Probably that. <laughs> Whereas my palm would be like. Like, yeah, it's like double that. Oh dear. I don't know. I don't know. My palm is bigger than my wrist by quite a ways. Oh. Regardless, once again, I think I just need a bigger, a better band. Oh dear. We'll get there. We'll get there. Buff Jelly Art continues. We'll slowly be getting buffer and buffer. Yeah, no, I will say the bands were the hardest part of the workout for the longest time. Like, I could do the weights and I could do the stretches and all that kind of stuff, but the band screwed me up. Like, I, they tired me out for so long. It's honestly a shock that at this point I am in any way okay with them because it took me so much longer to get used to doing the bands than it did to get used to doing the weights. Like, no joke. I, yeah, the bands really got me. Oh dear. They tired me out, especially at the beginning, a lot more than the rest of it did. Ah, uh, am I disqualified the competition? I'm no longer working out with base. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. You know, are you not gonna work out just for the for the thrill of it or just like, yeah, you were doing it for a specific like reason, so since the reason's gone, no more for you. Either's fine. I mean I know I'm working out for a specific reason, so I can't really speak. Oh dear. Not on your hand. It's like wrapping your wrist in boxing. Okay, okay. The first one was correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, Sammy, good morning, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. We're talking about becoming strong beans. The strongest of beans that ever did. I did squats this morning. Hey, high five. Well heckin' done. Well heckin' done. Yeah, one of the exercises with the weights I do has a lot of squats involved in it. So I do them a lot. But the squats I'm not so bothered by. That has been getting me day after day because I don't have so many rest days. But other than that, it's been fine. Oh, dear. Not gonna lie, I'm a bit envious of Jelly and other people getting such things done. I have a lot of strong women that I look up to that I'm like, I want to be a strong woman. But mainly, mainly my stuff comes from the physio person because when I did go into physio, it was because I had an injury and they basically said to me, well, they, I, they said it in like quite a straightforward and blunt way. It wasn't even basically, this is just what they said. They were like, you can keep doing your embroidery and you can keep coming back and seeing me and eventually you won't be able to embroider anymore. Or, or you can start working out and build your body fitness to a way where your body can keep up with the things that you want to do and then you'll never have to see me again. 
And so I had kind of like an ultimatum almost of like, either you work out or you're gonna lose this. And I didn't want to lose embroidery as a hobby. So here we are. Here we are. So it, you know, I've never been motivated to work out before. And that is the only thing that has ever motivated me to work out, which is, yeah. Yeah, really, really would like to embroider for a long time. I want to be a little old lady in my little rocking chair going backwards and forwards and embroidering. So <laughs> I don't want to lose it before I'm 30. Oh dear. The reason why is because your wrist is one of the weaker points of the body and so you're more prone to breaking your fraction wrist if you go too far. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Earful. Oh dear. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Ledman, good morning, welcome on in. How goes it? I hope you've been good. I probably need something like that. Like these ones to force me to act, yeah. Like for me, it was getting an injury and then having somebody else looking at it, which obviously is ideal that you don't get to the stage where you're already injured, but like that's what I needed. Sometimes you gotta make a mistake so that, yeah, somebody, somebody steps up and tells you, stop it, you're being a silly. Now I need someone to tell me that I was being a silly. And now I am getting stronger. I'm still very weak compared to most people that work out, but I'm getting there. Did I see toe jam and I made a toe jam and embroidery for my parents this year for Christmas. Yeah. Makes me think severe anxiety, which called me to lose so many. Oh, not a good idea. No, that isn't a good idea. No. Oh dear. But I was not going there. I did a move in my physio, which was said to do every three to five. Yeah, my mom said, my, my physio said, do this workout every day that you're doing sewing or embroidery. I did tell them. I did tell them. I was like, you know that I do that every single day. And they were like, then you do the workout every single day. And it's like, okay. <laughs> okay, I see. I see. Understood. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. So every single day, if I'm doing uh, stuff like this, I should do the workout. Yeah, it's only like 10 minutes. I'm thinking good to, I need an egg smash. Oh, thank you for the egg smash. I appreciate it. That's better. How are you doing? You need to compare yourself to yesterday, not them today. Exactly, that makes sense. It'd feel easy to pull one's wrists out. Yeah, your physio sounds amazing. They were. There's a little old Welsh lady who was like, I got you. I do have good lower body strength. My legs can lift, oh. I need to work my arms because I'm still very weak when it comes to that. I am the same. My legs are much stronger than my arms because I used to walk for like 15 hours a day. So I have pretty strong legs from that but I have very weak arms because there's never been a reason for me to grow any arm strength, right? I'm very lucky that I had a friend who is in gym, so I just go and follow her around. I'm like a little duckling. Yeah. I don't I don't think I'm gonna get a gym membership anytime soon, to be honest. Uh, just because like, it's a bit up in the air how often I can go to the gym and also because I still get migraines from being tired. I have to be a little careful with stuff like that. However, the more that I can do at home, that I can space out so that I'm not giving myself that tiredness afterwards, the better. And again, I don't, I'm not looking to become a professional athlete. I just want to be able to do my hobby for a really long time. So I can mostly handle that at home, thankfully. I'm also not looking for any huge body changes. I'm fine with that. If, if my body decides it wants to become a massive muscular woman, I'm okay with that. But I'm not specifically working out to get that look. So it's fine. It's fine. Oh dear. Oh. I prefer working out at home rather than going to a gym. Yeah, that's kind of what I do. It works around my schedule much easier as well. Uh, well, follow the round means you're also doing things. Yeah, gyms are like very you people. It can get very busy as well. Wait, I lie. I bought 95, 220 pounds, almost 100 kilos. Hey, congratulations. I'm curious what exercise you're doing. I think at some point, I should probably mirror, also mirror, good morning. I should probably like actually put it in a video or something because I get asked that so often at this point of like what exercises do you do? How do you do this? How do you do this? Because yeah, embroidering for 10 hours a day is kind of intense and I have been doing a lot of stuff to get that, that core strength. I am more than happy to go over it with people, but I feel like unfortunately, so first of all, today I'm wearing shorts and for doing a, <laughs> Doing squats in shorts as a woman on Twitch might put me in a little bit in a bad position as far as like clipping goes. So I'm probably not gonna be able to physically show you anything today because of the outfit that I've picked, I'm sorry. Uh, you know how Twitch is, right? Uh, that being said, if I could maybe just record it for a video and explain like what I'm doing. The thing is, I would say, of course, if you are someone who is having any concerns or is also planning to do like a lot of embroidery back to back, I'd probably recommend to go see a physiotherapist yourself just so that you can have that like one on one consultation. But I can at least show you what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, because being safe has been really important to me when it comes to this sort of thing. Going out of the home, so working out is what I've been trying to do for too long. 
Because I was like, I used to do it twice as much when I was working, but since it's been a while, I don't want to push my body. No, that's very, very fair. Being careful. Yeah, careful of TOS. Any exercise of getting rid of love handles? But why would you want to get rid of them? <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I guess, I think, to be fair, I'm not sure. But like, because love handles are part of the wider body, right? And like distribution of skin and fat. Wouldn't something like that's an all body workout be the best for that? Probably. I, if I had to guess. Something if you were like, because I don't think you can probably have a workout to specifically target love handles as much as like change your fat distribution. And if that's the case, an all body workout would probably be best. So maybe something like uh, swimming or some one of those kind of like more activey ones. Other oh, build, but I'm also not a, uh, a, a, a an expert. Well, good morning. Thank you so much. How goes it? I hope you're doing well. Good morning. Good morning. Squats for embroidery. Yeah, for the weightlifting. For the weightlifting. Yeah. Pretty sure you can't target body parts like that. Yeah, it's tricky. That I, I don't know how to say it, but like I feel like it's a bit tricky. Like even for me, mine target multiple areas, but it's like a set of them. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's no way to target. Yes, okay. I did think that was the case. Like, you can't target one spot, but a full body workout might give you the look that you're looking for. No good for the body needs time to adjust. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, not pushing yourself too hard. I am not a personal trainer, nor am I an expert. Uh, I just remember a few bits and bobs people have told me along the way when it comes to working out. And yeah, it's like the whole thing of like, get abs. And it's like, yes, but you're going to get a lot more muscles as well than just the abs. It's gonna be like, cause it's a whole body thing. It's not just a, you're not just working out your abdominals, you're working out everything when you're working out your abs. So it's like, it's gonna be more than just that one thing, probably for most people. There probably are some people that can develop just one muscle, but I think the majority is like, they're a minority, not the, the rule. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, love handles don't go away. I was 16 because I got to start the year, been doing cardio, I'm now 50 and I'm not sure what's up. It might just be your body type as well. I mean, sometimes if you've had extra skin, it will stay there for a minute and it can take a while. Looking forward to going for this, but I'm not strong either at the moment. Yeah, I was thinking about that Dr. Jenny command already. It's like, yeah, maybe go speak to like a, a professional. I think actually that would probably be the best advice for Sean. Sean, I don't know if you have access because I don't know like how things are in the rest of the world, but if you can find someone who does physio, or someone who does like that kind of stuff or even if there's just a gym nearby where you can talk to someone who's a professional that might be the best way to get like a list of things to target the things that you're worried about yeah i mean normally i mean as with anything if you want had like a sewing question you'd go ask a protection a professional sewer right and if you had like a if you had like a question about cooking you'd go ask someone who was good at cooking or a chef or something I feel like if you have a question about body, who better to ask than people whose whole job it is to do body stuff? Ah, oh, or you could probably find some YouTube bodybuilders who might be able to help you out if you want to do it from home. Yeah. Mm, however, I would advise everyone who is starting out if they want to do what you need to do high intensity workout training. Is that the one? High the in interval training, yeah, high, that's the one. High intensity workout. I, I knew, I, high impact interval training. I was like, I, high intensity, it's the one with the gaps. I knew what it was, I just couldn't work it out. Uh, films like about muscles, they need to dehydrate for two days to get those shots, they're so close to passing out. Yeah, the things you see online are not very realistic. And that's also important. Love exercise discussion, not centered around weight. Around 10 out of 10, I uh, also tend to have found uh, exercise is easy if, if you find move. <laughs> Speaking is hard though. God! <laughs> it's easy if you find a way you love to move your body. Belly dancing is fun with me, that's all I exercise. Moving your body, do it joyfully. Hell yeah. I mean, I think if you. It's a personal thing. Like, if you're looking for something in particular, there are ways you can achieve it, but I feel like there's a lot of different reasons people, people work out. For me, I want to be embroidering as an old lady. <laughs> It's not a typical workout goal, but that's what I went to the professional and talked to them about and that's what they gave me the advice for. So the workout that I specifically have is how can Jelly become a little old lady still doing embroidery in 50 years? Here's the workout for her, you know? <laughs> but if you were specifically looking to do other things, if there were other bits and bobs you wanted, you'd probably get slightly different advice to what I'm getting. <laughs> However, if you're looking to become a little old lady, in your rocking chair, becoming an embroidery artist, then I have I got the workout for you. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I was around 90 years and actually did uh, cardio, aka walking, and I am my lightest, although I've not weighed myself. See, I'm the opposite girl. I have been gaining weight. 
because the exercise has been making me more tired, but I've been gaining like muscle weight for the most part. So I am not the heaviest I've ever been, but I'm close and close. Bear in mind as well, two years ago, I was, what was I? It was bad, I will say. I was like seven stone six or something, I think. Yeah, no, I was lower than that. Cause I was, no, I was borderline at one point. I was like seven two nearly, yeah. And I'm now nine stone, so like a, over a stone and a half heavier than I was like two years ago. You can tell in the cosplays as well. <laughs> like the costumes I did back then, I was incredibly slim. I was having some health problems. There was a reason I was so skinny as I was. But like, I'm trying to gain muscles back from being very, very underweight, which is difficult because you're, when you become very underweight, your body also starts to just cannibalize its muscles and such, which is the fear of it, right? That's the problem with it. Uh, and so try, I really damn starting from nothing, but we're getting there. We're getting there. We slowly but surely, I feel better. Oh dear. I'm getting a little bit of more weight on. And also getting some muscles is great. Hell yeah. Oh dear, they're becoming a little old lady. Hell yeah. You can join me becoming a little old lady in embroidering. Yeah. At least I'm a very big girl. I weigh, uh, I weigh 100, I have terrible kilos. Uh, Works for me because I have lost 20 kilos so far and I feel like I do a little tired, but I'm not as bad as doing a cardio workout. That's not that, I'm not gonna lie. No, no, that's fine, it's fine. Different, it's gonna be as well. Like we all have very different goals with what we want. I also like applying the whole thing of like, you know how sewing and crafts goes where you're always improving, you're always getting better and you're always taking new things on. I'm kind of like that in every aspect of my life now. So it's like, I'm not in a rush to have the everything that I want, but as long as I'm doing things safely in a way that means that I can keep crafting for as long as I like, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Um, and I'm happy to slowly but surely work my way towards any goals that I have, as and when, when, when I have the time. <laughs> as long as I'm happy and doing things in a, in a healthy way that is not gonna cause me to not be able to embroider as a little old lady. That's the big thing. I just wanna be able to embroider as a little old lady. It's important to me. I have my, everyone has their dreams. My dream is to be a little old lady embroidering. Do the path for Mars I see you and then dealing with long COVID online. Do not be hard on yourself. Your goals are not met. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing is like, I don't have a set date for my goals. As long as I am practicing the stuff that I want to do safely, that's kind of the only goal that I have. And then over time, we'll just keep chipping away at it. But I don't have any, any specific date where I want to be A, B, C by. I kind of just want to like, do the things I love in a healthy way that is not going to be a long-term detriment to myself. Because again, the, the worst case scenario is I would hate to do something that would mean that I can't embroider or sew anymore because that is such a that's such a part of my joy. I don't want to lose it. So yeah, as long as I'm not doing anything that's going to detriment my health down the line when it comes to sewing and embroidery, I'm good. That's also why I'm like, I don't like it when people give me health advice around it because like I am actually pretty on top of my health when it comes to like, the longevity of my crafting, it's actually at the forefront of my mind most of the time. I don't like people under- don't underestimate me. I've paid a lot of money to make sure <laughs> that I have a very healthy routine with uh, with my crafting so that I can do it for as long as physically possible. And goal is embroider forever. Exactly. Embroider forever is the goal. 19.3 stone. Gotcha. Ah, oh, thank you, by the way. I'm terrible with the conversions. <laughs> Speaking of sewing and crafting, I found myself enamored of crochet for which I have zero talent and I've never said my life. Nothing wrong with that. Listen, if there's 